Alright, well, um, I'm back, and we got some news about the upcoming Ella Ikai character. Um, you, I think most people are gonna be interested in this character in particular, mostly because god fucking damage, she is uh, thick. Uh, you will see what I mean when I say thick, like, like we have currently three um, thick characters in the game. Um, one of my favorites being um, S Slave, of course. Now she is thick, all right. Now she is looking good and thick, all right. We have uh, Bianca, that's really thick, and we have um, A Lucia, she is also moderately uh, thick. All right. Well, um, the new Ella Yikai character. Sure, we will get the attention of the Rule 34 artists, and I'm not gonna lie, the banner will pop up here in a second. And there we go, um, as you can see pretty much her physical appearance is pretty much uh, almost the same as we saw in the manga. Um, also I'll be covering all of her current specs uh, in this video, but first I need to... I need to talk, I need to talk about her physical appearance, alright? So she has those absolutely huge honkers, not even, I'm not even like... I exaggerating this, uh, her honkers are fucking massive. You will see what I mean. I have uh, also a couple of these, a couple of the, I guess, videos that I found, pictures that I found of her, and well, and oh boy, um, I kind of feel bad for the for the flatties in this game. All right, like you have uh, girls that are like boards, for example, uh, Believe, Nanami, and, and Kalenina. And then you have like uh, Ella Ikai over here with the honkers. Like I think these are like legitimately like double D's or, or triple D's in this point. I don't know. I don't know how the classification works. But well, um, I'll be covering like after the animation. Yeah, there we go. I'll be covering the. I'll be covering pretty much most of most of the stuff that I could find about this character. And well, I'll start with the with the main menu, or should I say the bridge animations. Now the bridge animations, um, one of them will be up in a second. And I will say this though, uh, props to the developers, look at this, look at this, Jesus Christ. Like first the physics are on point, second of all those honkers are jiggly, holy shit. <laughs> those big ass anime titties are holy shit, they're huge. Oh boy, um, this is, oh man, this is gonna be, like, I already see this character being popular just because of her asset size, like, um, I think these are legitimately the biggest anime titties in, in a mobile game so far, um, in a, this type of game, and look, look at that, look at the physics, like, this is another, this is another bridge animation that I could find, and, um, not, not only are her assets thick, her thighs are also thick. Now, unfortunately, the the resolution of these images are is low, so I cannot just zoom in on the on the thigh and show the thick. But Jesus Christ, her thighs are also very very thick. Look at this. Just look at this. Um, yep, uh, this game definitely definitely going to be really popular when it drops on the official global, I guess. And, well, thankfully, at least, thankfully, she's wearing a shorts under that skirt, so uh, we cannot kind of see the, you know what. So, um, well, these were the bridge animations that I could find. And now we're, I, I will show you a couple of uh, skill animations and her actual combat style. Now, her actual combat style, uh, I think, well, it's pretty much, feels like the basic sky fielder that I've seen in, like, 25 other games, which is alright, I mean, it's flashy, uh, it's fast paced. Now, what I'm, per what I'm personally interested in are her abilities and, and her overall skills. Now here you can see, uh, pretty much uh, might be a one of the 1, 2 or 3, when you match 1, 2 or 3 red gems, that's what you get, that combo. Since you know you have a couple combos depending on the color. And well, the basic attack also uh, might be that, since I didn't find any information on what type of combo that is. So what's interesting about this character is that she is a armor type, or should I say a well, protector type. 
Um, she is using a kite bicycle, already mentioned in the previous video. She also has the ability to gather mobs and has the ability to spawn shields. So pretty much uh, feels like the B Nanami in the terms of shield spawning and such. Uh, but we will see about her about her buffs and what she actually gets. Now here, uh, which I found really interesting in this particular video over there, you can actually see that she kind of pushes the enemy away uh, with the skite. Now this might be a charged attack, looks like it, I don't know. But what I find is, it's really interesting, because with the right timing you can actually prevent yourself from taking damage. And you can kind of save the stamina for evading. So I think this character might be really good for boss battles. To uh, push away enemies, I guess. Uh, good in, in combination with other ranged characters, since... In that combination you can just switch to Bianca, for example, or you can switch to Liv, and then you can uh, you can shoot the enemy from a distance. Um, which uh, can be really helpful in some of the boss battles, since some of the boss battles are kind of tricky and the enemies kind of are doing really ridiculously high amounts of damage if you get hit. And of course your stamina might run out, so I think I already see some interesting combinations and interesting ideas with that character to be made. Definitely still we haven't explored the um, full potential of this game's creativity that the developers have given us. And here we can see um, she is giving some kind of aura once she applied it to, to the enemy. I personally think that this uh, is a debuff on the on the enemy, which will reduce uh, his um, overall, I guess, defense, overall attack and overall movement, which is also really nice for boss battles. So Ella Yikai so far seems to be like a really decent support character. Now, uh, I don't know how well her DPS is, on the graph I could see that her DPS isn't so impressive, which is to be expected from a supportive character. And here there is another combo, which I find really, really interesting. As you can see, she kinda, she kinda moves through the enemy with, uh, after she does her combo. This might be the basic attack, um, definitely looks like the basic attack. And uh, we saw that she did apply the debuff on the boss, on the enemy. And interesting to see what that debuff can also do to the enemy, since I couldn't find any information on it. And this is also really interesting. Uh, as you can see, she created a kind of square around the enemy, and she kind of whoops it, whoops the enemy up in the air. I'm really interested to see um, what that does. That pretty much looks, uh, I will be honest, from my experience in the game, that pretty much looks like a uh, 3 or 2 or 1, 2 or 3 yellow combinations, like when you match the yellow um, game. And that's really interesting things. I wonder what it does actually. Uh, might just kind of stun the enemy, might just kind of imply some debuffs from the enemy. And also might uh, stun the enemy, like in general, like give uh, some buffs to, uh, to your damage done to the enemy. So um, again, the implications are widely available. We will see when the when the game actually drops in like six days, five days from now. And personally, um, since both of them are actually events, and there is time for us to pretty much get enough um, black cards for free to get to. Um, personally, I <coughs> I might I might not go for her immediately if, if her fragments are. Uh, farmable, which I think they are, since there is the Fallen Star event that I did talk about in the previous video. Uh, an event that I am personally excited about, because that event appears to be... Uh, well, it appears to be really amazing. Uh, we will see how that event will turn out to be. And so far, uh, that's not... I'm personally, like, speaking from my own personal experience, I'm personally impressed by the game, uh, by what the developers have actually, actually achieved to do. Uh, it's really impressive what, what they managed to do with this game. And this game will be the number one ARP, mobile ARPG out there when it hits the global market. Just give it some time. Well, uh, just wanted to talk about now about the lore stuff of Ella Ikai. So we first uh, got introduced with the character in the official manga. Uh, she was um, she was doing some excavation on um, on some of the older relics uh, on the planet, and well, that's pretty much the first 
uh, first part where we uh, first yeah that's pretty much the one of the first moments where we actually met her and well here we go on the graph now we now it's translated so you can pretty much look at the graph and you can pretty much see what it um what it means Alright, sorry for the. Alright, sorry for the. Sorry for the double wheel check. Um, my my program here didn't wanna work. So I would like to draw armor A class. Alright, so pretty much everything I I already said about her. Uh, you can see the glass on the bottom. Like as you can see, it's low DPS, but pretty much high survivability, high scope, um, medium difficulty, and overall evaluation is kind of needy for the medium. Um, we will see how that will be when the when the character actually comes out. Since the graph is one thing, um, but the uh, real experience is another thing. So keep that in mind. And also um, about the lore stuff. Now, like I said, this first meet the character in the manga, in the first official manga, and she is kind of an artist, and she is kind of a well, I guess a scientist or a paleontologist, something along those lines, archaeologist should I say, and it's really interesting to see um, where that progresses in the story, if you know what I mean. And overall, um, overall in general, um, I'm personally, like, like I said this before, uh, excited for the story, excited to see where this is, where, the, where it goes. Um, I'm personally really interested in how the um, how she will be tied up with the other Grey Raven uh, members since she is quite different from them, like really, really different from them um, both physically and both in any other in any other way, if I can say that I can, okay, that's good so otherwise, uh, I did say that she's the hardest, pretty much um, that's pretty much what we know about her and it, it will be really interesting to, to know more. And well, um, also I've heard like rumors or some stuff that she and Watanabe are kind of related in in any in some way. Uh, I don't know how true that is. Might be true, might not be true. I don't know. But in any case, <clears throat> in any case. Um, Pretty much that's, uh, that's, that's pretty much it for um, for the news of this character. Definitely, I'm personally excited about the character. Like I said before, um, I don't know like how she will be tied up with the story, but in any in any case, uh, I'm sure that it will be interesting. And well, uh, if I find any more like uh, news about the character and stuff like that, I'll definitely update you guys. And with that being said, well, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Take care.